on the se- we're here seated. We're here with Nesta Ferro. Um, you just come off the stage. How did your performance yes, go? Yes, sir. It was dope as hell. You know, uh, good energy out here. This is my second time ever in mm-hmm. London. Okay. And it was real positive vibes. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, what did you perform out there? What did I perform? Yeah, what, what yeah. songs did you perform? Uh, I performed a new song that I got called Pink Lights. Um, mm-hmm. I did everything big um dumb life big time and bling blow boss me what do you think 707. The, what do you think the crowd went off to completely like off the chain i think they liked it when i did bling blow when i jumped okay. like, i damn near jumped in the crowd and, you know <laughs> i hadn't turned up oh, i was yeah. gonna ask you what your um opinion on crowd surfing was is that a they yes told us no? we can crowd surf so i'm more i really didn't crowd surf i was just in front of the crowd getting them mm-hmm. really turned up it yep, was yep, uh, yep. It was an old school function, though. I I I, I function with London. It's yeah. very tight. Second time here. So yeah. You're gonna, you're gonna make a third. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm you have to. Hat come trick. Back every year now. Come on. It's you dope. Said it now, but I hope to see. Yeah. You. I mean, I look definitely. To even if I just come back out here to work, I'm coming. Yeah, mm. every year. Yeah, I mean, I looked at your Instagram the other day, literally, and then you quoted from five people to 500, from 500 to 5,000, all the way to 75,000. Obviously, you said God is great. Come on. T- tell us. What's that in? Jeezy, people. <laughs> um, tell us exactly how the opportunity performing here makes you feel, because obviously, you know, you've gone from man, greater to greatest. You see who just shook my hand? That was the man who took me a- around the world, mm-hmm. man. That's my big brother for mm-hmm. real. Like, like Jeezy is is like, he, you know, he's that's my big brother. Mm-hmm. And I, so I really thank him for a lot of the opportunities he gave me, him and E40, and yeah. I just like. I was always taught to work the stage, give out positive vibes, and you'll receive positive vibes. Definitely. So basically, that's what I just—that's what I do every day, mm-hmm. like yeah. no matter yeah. what. So I just—you get what you receive, Definitely. you know. I yeah. give positive vibes, and that's yeah. all I receive. Mm-hmm. I mean, you started as a freestyler, didn't you? Yes, sir. I did. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, did. I mean, looking at the London scene, have you seen any freestyle or heard heard any rappers that you're feeling at the moment? Or? I like Nina with the nines. Ah, uh, okay. nines. Yes. Like Nina nines. with the Nina. Nines go crazy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah. That's like my top artist from London. Period. Okay. Nines. Skepta go crazy too. But yeah. Nina yeah. with the nines, he's raw. I mean, have you have you reached out for a collaboration or anything? Oh, we gonna get some music done. Most yeah. definitely. Oh, nice. Okay. Nice. Okay. Nice. Nice. Okay. Oh wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, we okay. under the okay. same management, so uh, that's definitely gonna get gonna done. Happen. Okay. Yeah. We was actually going to ask that. Say if you had your own wireless and you had to choose three top headline acts, who would you choose? Future, Elton John. Wow. Oh, okay. You have to explain that one. We'll come back. Uh, who do I want to see live? Who do I like? I'd probably say Future, Elton John. I'll take it back to G Easy. He's a good performer. Mm. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Why Elton yeah, Elton John one sticks out. Elton out of the crowd. John is fucking Oh, I know. Yeah, we oh, get that's, winner. I, that's I the rocket. Know. That's the rocket, man. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A yeah. lot of people really don't appreciate Elton John for the, the magic and the and the vibes he's created for us, but I'm one of those people who who really enjoys his his artwork so yeah. i would love to see elton john Steve. live mm. yeah, like period um, he go talk crazy. about the um the chang project the chang yeah. project was basically um i locked myself in a studio for 40 48 hours and i had some of my good friends who who do music as well stop by and basically that's that's what we got out of that you know okay. um locked myself like I said, in the studio for 48 hours straight, I did not leave. I had my partners come through, and we made good music. Yes. Mm-hmm. And we put out a nice project, and I feel like it's getting um, a lot it's of good feedback. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, nice yeah. receptions. Yeah. Yeah. It's the best representation of your music and what you can produce? I would say it's the best representation of my music and what I can produce so far yeah. so far okay so yeah, far. I, hear that. I mean i've listened to one of your tracks called spice okay. now you say some real powerful stuff in that in, in that track is that like you expressing yourself you know how your life has been so far oh yeah most definitely spice is definitely a song about me overcoming you know my obstacles mm-hmm. in life you know i'm from the projects yeah. in california i'm from the, you know, I'm from the grime, like I'm from the, the trap eras and yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. all of that shit back in the U.S. It's, it's crazy to be from there and actually come over here and be overseas. Yeah. 
Bro, where I'm from is crazy. You don't make it out like that. I'm one yeah. of the richest people, richest, youngest dudes from my city, period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, like my mentor, my, my sensei, E40, mm -hmm. he told me before I left, he said, man, you know you didn't been more places in the world that I have. I said, damn, That's for crazy. real? He was like, yeah, keep it up. And it was just mainly for my mentor, for my sensei, E40, mm -hmm. to tell me that I've touched more places in the world yeah. than he has. That's mainly, and it's a blessing. I mean, speaking on your journey, you then went on to work with, like, Snoop Dogg. Oh, yeah, that's... that's How did that come up. about? That's, uh, that's, that's amazing. How did that come about? I mean, Snoop... The, I've been messing with Snoop since since before I had this song, Big mm -hmm. Time. And, you know, I was actually in, a, in one of his movies called Mousetrap. Okay. I was his, I I was his I weed man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's on Trap Flicks. I was, uh, I was actually Snoop Dogg's weed man. Mm. And um, that was crazy. You know, so Uncle Snoop has always Good been job. a big participant in my career yeah. and, and showed me love and always yeah. Yeah. lended a helping hand for your boy. So shout yeah. out Uncle Snoop. That's always Definitely, been Definitely, each and every time. You already know what it is. Left side, best side. Say that. Come on. Alright, so I just have a quick question. Um, I just wanted to ask, so when you're preparing for um, your performances on stage, whether it be a festival or a concert, what's the one thing that you always do routine-wise? I pray, stretch, and I, I make fun of I make fun of people in the crowd just to make me you know just to get my feelings a little bit better. Mm. You know I find people in the crowd. You know we all do it sometimes. You know I just you know make a little joke sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Just to get me in the mood. Yeah. You know you know. Or I might I might take a shot, of drink, smoke a little herb here and there. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a lot of it's a lot of things that I do to prepare myself mentally before yeah. I get on that stage uh, yeah. for the battle. Yeah. It's crazy. What's, what's the stretching for? What are you planning to do out there? I go crazy. I, I jump. Be back flip, crowd I self. be dancing. Yeah. I, be, I be dancing. You know, I be gigging. I, I I just do a lot. You know, I jump them damn, damn near five feet in the air. I got hops, bro. You're just bringing that energy. I got hops. Y'all should have had a jumping game. On everything. What are you saying? If you can jump the highest? Yeah, I'm jumping. On everything. Oh, you can I got jump, you can jump now. Got <laughs> I'm clearing that couch right there for sure. <laughs> yeah, it is. Right, last question. I can see you got a lot of tattoos. Yeah, I, I love this tattoo. Yeah. So yeah, my first tattoo was in seventh grade. So. Seventh? Yeah. How old are you in seventh grade? About. How old are you? I'm not sure, but you're young. About not 13, young. 12? So, yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah. 12 or 13. So how yeah. much how, how much have you paid for all of your tattoos so far? I got over I got over 100 tattoos. I got 19. That's crazy. I got 19 on my face. Um, oh, I paid, wow. I, I'll pro probably say I poor, paid more than like, i say over 10,000 on my tattoos. Um, wow. It's kind of, it's kind of, it's, it's a way of life, you know, mm -hmm. it's an art, you know, I, I, I would say, I always tell my friends it's something in the ink, you know, it's, yeah. it's addicting, <laughs> like, me, me even being skinnier, you know, I, I, I still, I, I still, yeah, I still, yeah, I still like the pain, I love, I love the way it looks on my skin, like, I'm mm -hmm. dedicated, I've been getting tatted since I was 12, 13 year old, you know, yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. hit my first lick and, and bubbled off of that and got a tattoo, I was the only, <laughs> Only kid in middle school with a tattoo taking his shirt off going crazy. So it was. The girls must have loved it. The women must have yeah, loved yeah, it. Yeah, it was many. It was many. It was very <laughs> okay, so before we leave you. More vibes. Um, for anyone that missed you this year, what would you tell them anyone, to do to come back? Anyone that missed Nefta Pharaoh this year, tune in on all social medias. Follow me at N E F T H E N. Spell Pharaoh with me. I don't want y'all to spell spell it wrong. It's P H A R A O H. In America, I say this funny thing for you to remember the A O H is all on a hoe. So remember <laughs> the, the A O H all on a hoe. You feel me? So it's Nefta Pharaoh on every social media, every outlet. You could get my music on iTunes. I'm everywhere. YouTube. Google Play, Title, I'm everywhere, everywhere, everywhere in America, and I'm coming to London. Like I said, I will be here yearly. This is my second year. I'll be here three, four, five, six, seven more. Twenty. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. get, I'm <laughs> coming back. You feel me? It's, go, it's gonna be yes. more years to come. You yes. Feel me? I'm turning it up at uh, what's it called? Circuit. Oh uh, yeah, okay. with the little crazy clowns and what's Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Catch him, catch him at yeah. Circuit. Circuit. Say oh, that. Okay. It's been absolute Thanks, pleasure, man. man.
Thank you for coming down. Appreciate y'all. Straight yeah, no yeah. chase out wireless. I think I did my, I think